Uh, I'm Jerry. Hey, hey Jerry. Jerry. Four years sober. I enjoy dating senior citizens. <laughs> so, one day, Claire and I were sitting on a park bench and we're making out. And she falls asleep. So, I start rifling through her purse because I want money for booze. But I realize that Jerry don't feel good about Jerry when Jerry's doing this. That's when I decided to stop drinking and start thinking. And today, when I date those old ladies, I don't steal their money, so I'm a winner. <laughs> At least that was entertaining. Jerry, you get out too. I don't want to go to the playground. You don't have to go to the fucking playground. I, you, I, I, I don't want a playground. You can't designate play on a ground, like separate ground. That's like dividing and separating. It's like you go play, but you don't play. Play is everywhere. The ground is everywhere. That's like religion and dogma. You play there, you play over there. I play here, I play wherever I want. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. It's, it's a heart ground. What do they have, like, like serious ground and cry ground and play ground and stupid ground and idiot ground? I ain't playing no playground. That's forced play. That's, that's false play. That's, that's a human construct for people who are afraid to play wherever they're supposed to play, wherever they want. The fuck out of my house, Jerry. Here we are. Welcome to Jerry's gym. Yeah, great. Okay. Now, let's start with a little warm-up. Something to get the blood flowing. Don't you need to change into some workout clothes or something? Dude, don't you need to change into some workout clothes or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's not about fashion. Now, come on, let's do this thing. All right, ready? Go. Come on, I said go. And three, and two, and one. All right, good, now come on, F follow me. This is really good for your lats. I climb telephone poles, apartment buildings, rehab centers. I'm always climbing. Always be climbing. Always. It comes in handy. All right. Let's try a little uh, flexibility and balance work. On the monkey bars or? No, for this, all we need is each other. Now, face me and grab my shoulders. Okay, you ready? Now pull and resist. That's the key. Pull and resist. Pull and resist. Pull and resist. Right, cut it out, Jerry. I don't like that. That means it's working. Look, I don't care. I'm done with this. See you later, Jerry. All right. No, no, no. Good first day. <laughs> I want to work for your fine organization. Wow. I like your enthusiasm, and uh, I can offer you an entry-level position. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, then. You got yourself a job. Ah, oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> well, welcome aboard. Yeah, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. <laughs> it's like, welcome, it's like, well. Come aboard. It's well. It's good. It's great. You're aboard now. In fact, you're on board, but you're not aboard. You're enlivened now. You're given life. That's what you did. You woke up this morning and you said, I'm going to enliven somebody. Well, that's what you were thinking while you were shaving. That's what you were thinking. You were just going to hire somebody. You're not the hirer. You're the guy who gets them on the ship. 
and you carry the ship on the sea of what happens next. You got me into an arena of let's make it happen now. You know, this ain't just a building and paintings. You got colors flying around here. You designate colors. You inject colors into the man and say, hey, man, let the colors fly. Let them fly, man. You're here to soar. It's about soaring, buddy. The ship don't float. The ship soars, man, and it cuts away. The pirates coming up and the piranhas and the sharks. So what time? What is the time that you desire that you long for rapaciously. You're vicious. You want me viciously. In. What time you want me in here? 9 a.m.? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no, I just, I didn't hear you come in with the no door there. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's good you had that ripped out. I always hated that thing. Doors, you know, all these doors. It's like doors are the blockages of truth, you know? So, I'm coming to see you. You know, I got like coming to see you energy, you know, with my eyes. I don't, I don't need to see wood. I want to see you. My eyes, you. Your eyes, mine. You know, you sit at your table and you sit saying, what? I got family, I got noodles in boxes, cereal in boxes. Everything's in a box. You know, you don't know you need a surprise. You need my energy coming in. Your energy seeing me. It's like life. You're living your life. It's not, uh, otherwise, it's just uh, you meter out your friendship. You meter the fucking shit out. You're like, oh, a little bit. Maybe I should let him in. I don't know. What do I think of him? You, you know? But if I just c come in, I just come in, you see me. You know? It's seeing energy. It's hurled back and forth. It's thrust. Energy thrust. Doors block the thrust of life. I know this, man. I know this. It's doors. Doors are bullshit. It's doors. Can I take a shower? No, man, it's not a good time. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Rick Shapiro of the Lucky Louie television program. We all had a lot of fun tonight, but at the heart of this show is a serious issue. When considering sexual partners, don't overlook the elderly. <laughs> They're fun. They're appreciative. And hey, you don't have to worry about birth control. The, the elderly, they're not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs>